it could have really hurt some. I think the city should be doing Absolutely. about that. Uh, first of all, let's conduct a thorough investigation. I do have a question of why that uh, firearm was loaded. First of all, when you're going to have kids and people around, and you know, the safety concern is what really bothers me the most. And fortunately, fortunately, thank God that nobody got hurt, but it could have turned into a real serious uh, situation. I think we have to modify and make sure that we learn something from this. You know, we all make mistakes, but uh, when you're talking about a firearm, uh, 50 caliber, you're talking about a real uh, heavy duty weapon, and I think that we ought to take the uh, proper steps, but let's not jump into conclusions. Let's make sure that we conduct a thorough investigation and then find out what really happened. But I think we need to be a little more uh, careful when we're going to have weapons and make sure that they're not in the hands of the public. Mm -hmm. Those firearms, uh, you know, don't have a name on them. And I think that we just have to be very careful. Unfortunately, you know, accidents happen. And, and I don't want to jump in, in, into something without really uh, knowing I'm going to let the authorities conduct a uh, fair and impartial investigation and then go from there. It but I think we ought to modify. On the offset, I will tell you this, that if you're going to have a, a, a situation where you're going to expose weapons, first of all, I don't think they ought to be loaded. And I think we have to take the proper uh, uh, measures to protect the citizens. If there is negligence to be found on someone's part, do you think someone should be charged for that or fired well, from their well, job? Well, I think that uh, I think you got to look at all the facts. I don't want to uh, con uh, do conduct a personal okay. investigation. I'll let the authorities, and then uh, maybe there could be some disciplinary. But you know, let, let me look at. Uh, let's take a chance and look at the facts. I think that's important. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, let's move on now to border town Laredo. Uh, some members of the force who are being featured in that reality show are going to be going to the Today Show this week and being featured. So um, what do you have to say to that? Well, uh, you know, first of all, let me tell you how proud I am of the police department aside from that incident. You know, we all make mistakes, but I am so proud of this police department because you have men and women that dedicate themselves and put their lives on the line facing the challenges. You know, they don't know where they're going to come home. But I think this is going to depict the city of Laredo Police Department as one of the finest police departments in the country. We have been able to reduce violent crime, property crimes. I think that says a lot about the police department. And for them to be on the national stage with Al Roker, the Today Show, I think that's going to show Laredo in a better, uh, in, in, in a better view. And I, and I think that's important. You know, I was invited to go. Mm -hmm. But I th and in all respect to the officers, they're the ones that are important. They're the ones that ought to be featured because they risk their lives every day. And sometimes we take them for granted. When you talk about how many, uh, how much dope they have been able to confiscate, how many weapons they confiscated, uh, let's focus on the police department. I think at the offset, I was very impressed with a conversation that I had with Al Roker. Al Roker's purpose is trying to show uh, a police department that's comprised of mostly uh, Latinos in a minority community, and they're doing such a great job. I'm really proud of them, and I think at the offset, uh, on the offset, I think you're going to see uh, uh, the police department being represented as highly professional, highly dedicated, and committed to the challenges that they face on the border. Well, really quickly, you know, a lot of people have been talking about this. You know, literally in the promotion it says, Laredo is a border town under siege. <laughs> siege of what? I mean, why would they promote this story well, this way? Well, they're trying to get the attention. When you do a promo, and they, they modified the initial promo that they did, and now Roker said the same thing, and, you know, when they promote something, it's that they want to attract the viewer. They want to get the viewer. But at the end of the day, I think the Laredo Police Department and the city of Laredo is going to shine. We have been able to contain uh, the crime on this side of the border. You know, we have been able to keep it clean and keep it safe. And, you know, un unlike other politicians that are going all over the country saying that this is a war zone, they're ridiculously crazy and uninformed. Okay, mm -hmm. well, thank you very thank much. You. We'll be following the story, of course, and we'll check them out on the Today Show. Absolutely. Thanks, Mayor. Thank you.